So here's the same setting as before, the opacity and flow at about 25%. The shape dynamics and the other dynamics are turned on, and the hardness is at 0%. Okay, so I'm starting off pretty much the same way that I always do, which is on a gray background, I'll start painting in some of the dark areas first. And using the largest brush size as possible, I'll fill in some of the general darker areas. Now this face is a little bit uh, more complex, there's a lot of uh, minor details. But to start out, we'll work on the broader areas first, and then we'll narrow it down to the uh, smaller details. So I'm going to let this speed up right now, and then I'll come back um, when we're working with the whites. Okay, so back to real time. And this is one of my favorite parts because after putting in some of the darks, when we add in the whites, it creates a lot of contrast and you really start to see the shapes uh, being formed and, and start to pull off, pull off the screen. So the method for the whites is pretty much the same as the blacks. It just, you gotta work with the broad areas first and then we'll narrow it down later to the details. So I'm gonna let this speed up again and I'll come back um, once we have some of the major forms uh, rendered in. Okay, so we're back to real time again. So at this point, we kind of have some of the major um, forms uh, rendered in. But if you look at the painting, you'll notice everything is still kind of round middle gray. And that's kind of the way I like to work. It's just, you know, you start from the middle and then you kind of work on the darks and then you work on the whites. And then so you kind of expand your spectrum. And, you know, you, you just start pushing and pulling on opposite directions until you get to the really dark areas and and to the really you know bright highlights. And you see the process repeated throughout this uh, painting. I'm just kind of going back and forth until you know the forms get built in, things get darker and darker. And I generally like to start out making the eyes really dark first, just because that is the most attractive area of the face. Um, and I just go from there and, and you know build in the rest of the forms. Now just a quick note on the brushes. Um, as I'm going darker, you know, there's the details are getting a little bit smaller, especially in the eye area. And for that, I will increase the opacity on the brush, just so that I can get the black lines a little bit faster. So I'm just going to let this run, and we'll see how it turns out at the end.
So that's it for this painting. I hope you enjoyed this and do join me on Facebook or my blog at artofway.com and I will see you next time.